For every 2D game engine, the most crucial part is the sprites. So, in this video I'm going to uh, take a look how to load sprites uh, in Cocos 2D Python. And actually, I'm going to show you two ways of doing that. First, i am just created uh, a class and I'm going to rename it to sprite just sprite one and so now if you run the application you have just an empty blank window and I'm also prepared here a res folder and in so for resources and in this res folder I prepared some JPEG and PNG files so let's add to this layers a sprite okay I'm going to name it sprite and uh, I'm going to load it with the cocos that sprite that sprite with a capital S and give it the path to the let's say I'm going to load this ufo underscore head that png so it is in the sprites uh, I mean not the sprite but the press folder and it's called ufo underscore head dot png also set its position so sprite that position Let's set it, let's say, um, I don't know, 400 on X and 360 on Y. And if you, if you are adding a sprite to a layer, don't forget always the following command. So self.add and the SPR. Of course, now we are going to create uh, a layer, so SPR1 underscore layer, and this will be the sprite 1. And uh, now let's just give to the scene this SPR1 layer. Okay, now we have the UFO head in our screen and I'm just going to show you a second way of uh, creating a sprite or loading a sprite. So class and this will be the sprite 2 and I will directly in inherit from the Cocos that sprite that sprite and here I'm just going to also initialize so def init and call the super dot init and here we are we need to give to the supers init method the path to the sprite so here I'm going to load uh, let's say the space uh, or the player ship player ship dot png player ship dot png and also set its position so self dot position mm. Let's give it, I don't know, 640 and 360. But this time you don't need to add, like in the layer, if you load a sprite in the layer, you need to add this sprite to the layer. But if you're doing this in the second way, so by directly inheriting from the sprite class, you don't need to add. Uh, to the sprite class the sprite <laughs> so and now we have we are, I'm going to create a sprite 2 
underscore layer, although technically it's not a layer, it's, it's just a, a, a sprite. So I'm so sprite two and uh, yes, how to add both of these to the uh, test scene. I'm going to delete this sprite one layer. So first of all, let's create a scene, and then you need you have the the following commands, so test scene that add and spr one layer and test scene that add the spr two layer. So this is how you can add to a scene multiple layers and sprites. So now let's run it. So as you see, we have uh, two sprites on our screen. The first sprite is is this forehead, which is a layer, and the second sprite, which is this uh, spaceship, which is inherited from the sprite class. And in the Next video I'm going to follow with sprite sheet animations, how to load sprite sheet animations. And just a quick but important info at the end of the video is you can see how to add multiple layers to a scene. So you can have as many layers as you want and here uh, you create a scene. Uh, in the first video I say that you can have multiple scenes, but only one scene is active at a time, at a given time. So you can have an intro screen scene, a uh, level one scene, an outro scene, a uh, losing scene and so on, but only one of, of those scenes can be active at a given time. And uh, uh, but a scene can hold multiple layers, and this is how you add to a scene a new layer. And of course, you also have when you add uh, to this scene a new layer, you also can specify the Z order. So the lower is this number, the, the back. Uh, on in the scene is the is this layer so which means let's say this sprite one layer will be behind the sprite two layer because it has the lower number so let's say if you have a scene with, which has a far far background um, set it let's say to zero and you have a, a, a mid background it can be at um, z1 and if you have a foreground it can be at two with the player and so on they, those can be at two or three so as as bigger this number it, it is closer to the closer to you <laughs> and uh, I think you also can give it a, a name. Um, I need to check it in the source code. Yes, it has a name attribute uh, attribute as well, and it's it's defaulted by to zero. So you can say that okay, I will give it a name, and this will be the uh, UFO had and the second the second will be the player ship so this is how you can add sprites and how you manage your layers so thanks for watching and have a nice day